Samuel, first of all, why are you saying that fat is good? So over the past 20 years that the government have kept the advice pretty much the same, um, diabetes has doubled, which is essentially a condition of carbohydrate intolerance. And it's the biggest burden on the NHS. So this advice has essentially created the, the current health state that we're in, because we are following the dietary guidelines. We're eating underneath the recommended amount of calories, we're eating the right amount of fat, we're even eating the right amount of red meat. Um, and over the past 20 years, there have been repeated meta-analyses showing that a low carbohydrate, high fat diet of real foods outperforms the current guidelines of low fat calorie counting. OK, advice. Dr Gunter, is this counterintuitive, do you think? I don't think it's counterintuitive. The problem here is that the, the claimed evidence does not really exist. It's not... So a lot of the dietary guidance which is available is based on carefully peer-reviewed data on systematic reviews. Now, the, the publication which has been published today is essentially some type of cherry-picking of data of studies which support the case for a high-fat diet, but nothing about potential adverse effects or essentially how... how um, easy it is to extrapolate this to the general public. And just tell me, so there are good fats and bad fats, aren't there? Is there this going to send out the wrong message? Do you think people are going to get confused and just see fat and just think they can... No, I don't think so, because over the past, again, 20 years, there have been 53 randomised controlled trials between ad libitum low-carbohydrate diets, which means eat as much as you want, giving you free reign to low-fat calorie counting diets. And out of those 53... 44 of those show greater weight loss in low-carbohydrate diets, and zero of those show a statistically significant weight loss from the low-fat arm. Dr Gunter, Sam is I, saying some fat is good for you. I would actually disagree with that no study showed a, showed a weight loss, and the, the difference in the reason... Statistically significant. Five showed there's greater weight loss. May, I'm sorry, may, I, may, may, may I finish my argument? I don't think going, Dr Gunter. I think this trying to do science and public advice by press headlines and press briefings is quite counterproductive because what it does, it confuses the general public and it gives the impression that there are different fractions which try to fight each other. Actually, what we should do is we should try to find the best advice for those people who suffer from diabetes, who have obesity. This discussion should take place in the forum where they should take place. They should not take place at the headline of newspapers. They should take place at meetings or at other kind of events. We've been uh, messaged on Facebook. Mel Harper says, you can't win, can you? <laughs> They're obviously confused. Are you concerned that people are going to be confused now? Or do you think the message should be about exercise rather than, rather than food? No, diet is the first port of call when it comes to health, undoubtedly. Exercise comes a close second, but diet is the most important thing. Now, Gunter's saying that the argument and the debate should be behind closed doors. I did not what say we're, that. What I, we're I'm saying... sorry, I did not say that. <laughs> I said... It should be done in a civil way, not yes, by briefing the media with one argument and then trying to push this and accusing right, people... Right, so are you denying that the meta-analyses of the past 20 years, every single one of them shows that low-carbohydrate diets are better than low-fat diets? So a recent meta-analysis shows that on a low-carb diet, the weight loss was about one kilogram... One was, kilo was one kilogram greater than on a low-fat diet. One kilogram. It does not take into account potential adverse effects of a high-fat diet, which there are, and there are a lot no, of concerns no. of high-fat diets. We're going to have to leave it there, guys. But a balanced diet, obviously everyone's going to read this very, you know, and be very measured about what they eat. I think a specific diet is what people need, an individualised, flexible okay. diet, and that's what our health eating guidelines All are. Right. Eat real food, avoid fake food, be active.